at 11 tonight, a young boy is nearly swept away by a rising river. Two first responders tried to save the boy by jumping into the Patuxent River, but the currents proved to be too strong for them as well. Iowa News News reporter Susan Campbell spoke with one of those officers who helped rescue the boy, and she joins us now with that story from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom in West Warwick. I spoke with the boy's parents. They didn't want to talk on camera, but they tell me they're still shaken up by what happened. They say they're extremely thankful that their son was rescued. The Patuxent River swollen beyond its banks and flowing with dangerous currents. Currents that this 20-year police veteran battled to save a young boy. There's a kid who's in trouble. You just go to help him. On Sunday, a 12-year-old was fishing here on the Patuxent with his brother and friends. When he lost his footing, he was whisked more than 100 feet downriver. His friends called for help. The first police officers on the scene went in after the boy, but they were on the wrong side of the river. The current was too strong. They tried to get across the river, but the current was too strong for, that, for the officers to get around him. So Detective Sergeant Roland Kutu trekked through the woods on the opposite bank. He finally found the boy who'd been hanging onto a branch for 10 minutes. I didn't know what to expect. I really did not expect to see the kids hanging onto a branch in the water and his feet thrown out because the, water, the current was so strong, it's like he was swimming. But he's not. He was hanging on for dear life. I grabbed the stick that was on the ground. I went, I thought, to the river's edge. I ended up in the river myself. But... Um, reached out with the stick as far as I could till finally he grabbed onto that. And once he grabbed onto the stick, I pulled him toward the shore. He was scared. Uh, basically, he, was, he kept saying he was thankful to be alive. The boy was taken to the hospital to be checked out. His parents say besides a sore shoulder from hanging onto that branch, he's doing just fine. In West Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.